Hello and welcome to the Vera Hotel for the press conference today for Walking the Walk. My name is Jack Bannerstock, this is Mr. Carl McCullough. We are the two promoters for Ion Promotions. Thank you very much for all coming today. Today is all about meeting the boxers and the guys who are taking part on the show on the 3rd of May. <clears throat> Thank you very much for all turning up. We have got a few people that are going to be turning up slightly late. Um, so please bear with us if they're not here when we call their names out. First of all, before we introduce you to some of the boxers uh, here today, I'd like to make you aware of something we're doing all night. We are going to be raising money for a very special young girl. Sadly, on the, uh, on the 21st of January this year, uh, a young girl called Rihanna passed away. She was a huge part of football in the community for ladies football at Swindon Town. Now, her mum and her dad have set up a trust, Reed's Goals, which is to aid and fund young girls and give them a hand to get into sports. Okay, so we're going to be raising money that night. What we've done is one pound of every ticket sold on that evening is going to go straight away to Reed's Goals. So please, social media, Twitter, Facebook, please spread the news to this lovely, lovely young girl who we lost earlier this year and raise awareness for sport in the community for young ladies to get involved with something they want to do and they sometimes struggle to be able to do that. Okay? So thank you very much and you know they're here today, so thank you. Without further ado, we're gonna get our first guys up. So, ladies and gentlemen, please round of applause. Mark Keepence, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, and his opponent, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Sean Reed. Now, Mark, if you could get one with your guard up, that'd be fantastic. <laughs> Who's training this guy? <laughs> Next up, folks, please round of applause. Scott Bowden. Yeah, He's had a wee a this morning, that's what it is. <laughs> and his opponent, Steve Williams. <laughs> what beautiful blue eyes, by the way. That's it. I bet he takes a great photo. And a lovely smile as well. Let's do a little face off then, please, gents. What is it? We aren't behind the back, seriously. That's it. <laughs> The nice right. blue eyes just looking at yours, Scott. Does that make you want to kiss him or what? You don't want to kiss him or punch him, do you? I personally want to kiss him. Thank you very much, lads. Well done. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, please. Nathan Hopes. And his opponent. Luke Bateman. <laughs> Just like to remind everyone in the audience that both boxers are getting in this ring as sportsmen. There's no need for antics like that, is there? <laughs> and we're not soccer AM, Jesus Christ, it's boxing, not football. Get your own chant. And a little face off, please, lads. I remember I did this last time on the Nielsen's, unfortunately the fight didn't happen. Kind of like... Come on, mate. 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 Alright, alright. Jeez, come on. Okay, next up, Gary Venton. As you can see, Gary is sporting the latest in sporting technology. This makes his left look a whole lot harder. <laughs> Technically, we don't know that it's allowed at the moment. We're still waiting to hear from the British Board of Boxing Control, but it's a, a bionic left, basically. <laughs> and his opponent, ladies and gentlemen, Faz Farrell. <laughs> While he's having his photos, should, should we turn down the lights? I just thought it might be a little bit bright for the guy in the front row with the shades on. <laughs> Let's do the face-off. 
Next up, ladies and gentlemen, I've been told he's the king of banter. It's Rich Hall. I got a present from your opponent. I got a present from your opponent? Yeah. Oh, right. That's, that's so nice of you. I'm a nice guy. You are a nice guy. Well, he is a nice guy. Can we have a round of applause for being such a nice guy? And his opponent, Gareth Dimino. You have your little photo. <laughs> have we got the right hand? Yeah, stand back. In fact, if we could just part those seats, you can take a Yeah, great. If you've got like a white, like a colour thing, because I don't want it being too orange on the top. <laughs> can we just open, before the face off, let's open that, because it might change, you know, how you look at each other in a sec. Just to bring it to the <laughs> A gentleman from Chippenham called Grant Mallinson, ladies and gentlemen. It is a rematch. I believe he lost some points on the last time, is that right? Yeah, home show. Is yeah. A, yeah. His home show. His home. His home show, ladies and gents. That's his excuses. <laughs> Just saying. Okay. But this time it's going to be different because it's his home show, is that right? Swindon is your town, so there you go. Doesn't matter where it's going to be different. Doesn't matter where it's going to be different, ladies and gentlemen. Ryan Tyler Wilson. Next up. Darren, Chippy Jones. <laughs> Darren, I have to ask as well, some of these guys probably know, I, I think I've announced, I don't know, about 742 out of your 800 fights that you've had. <laughs> Why Chippy? Because you're not a Chippy, let's face it. No, chip shop. Just chip shop? <laughs> well, I don't know, I'm asking you. Is it because you've got a little nick on your tooth or? No? No. <laughs> um, also, why soldier? come from for these names? That's all I'm asking. Obviously we know where some of them come from. It's f***ing obvious. Yeah? I just wonder where yours come from, that was all. I mean, you know, we've got, you know, Honey Monster. We've got the Truffle Shuffle sat in the audience. I just... I'd have put the Bumblebee. I'd have put the Bumblebee. Toothpick. Really? Okay, his opponent, ladies and gentlemen, Gav Tyler Wilson. Let's have a face-off, boys. 
Well done, lads. Uh, next up, uh, we have Tom McCulloch, ladies and gentlemen. He's a great fighter, Tom McCulloch. Unfortunately, his opponent can't be here at the moment. We were hoping they were going to turn up slightly late, but it doesn't look like they're going to make it. His opponent is going to be Kane Mallinson, ladies and gentlemen. How are you feeling, Tom? Are you right? Yeah, good, mate. Yeah? yeah? You specifically asked me not to ask you any questions, didn't you? Yeah. Big mistake. <laughs> How's training going? Yeah, good, mate. Good. Yeah. You doing much this weekend? Not a lot, mate. <laughs> <laughs> go, go and have a stand on the other side, mate. <laughs> Next up, Ben Sawyer. Josh Morris. I don't believe he's actually been able to make it today. So luckily for you, you get a little pose on your own and stuff like that. I'm glad you took your hat off. Well done for doing your hair, it looks fantastic. I know it was. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> Might take a stand over there then, please, sir. Thank you very much. And last up, we have, ladies and gentlemen, Matty Farrell. away on holiday this weekend up in Scotland, it's Kieran Jennings. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please a round of applause to all of your boxers here today. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jack Bassock, co-promoter here, Mr. Carl McCulloch. Once again, just like to remind you of the fantastic charity that we're raising money for on the evening, Rees Goals. Passed away, unfortunately, on the 21st of January earlier this year. Lovely young girl, fantastic goalkeeper. The heart and soul of the team. Okay, ladies and gents, so we're going to be raising money for a fund that's going to be helping young girls get into football and be passionate and, and, and get into something they want to do. So please, on the night, and from now until the night, share on Facebook, on Twitter, let everyone know the cause that we're trying to raise money for, okay? Before we do end up, I'm going to hand the mic over to my esteemed colleague here, Mr. Carl McCulloch, who's, who's going to hopefully finish with the last few words. Carl, I've got your present, by the way. Ladies and gents, we've got a new outfit for the evening, so I've got Carl a little top that he's uh, going to be able to wear on the evening. Is that going to fit around your, um, what are they called? Moves? Moves. I think that'll look lovely on that. Beautiful. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Carl McCulloch. Just want to say a big thanks for everybody who's turned up today. You know, this is our first show. We're hoping it's going to be good. We've got a cracking lineup. All right, we've had some fighter changes uh, as we've gone along, but I think you'll agree the bill is looking pretty good now. And hopefully on the third, it, it will be a great show. And, and I want to raise as much money as we can for Rees goals as well. So as Babbins has said, dig deep, deep on the night, share it around, and, and let's raise awareness for this cause, and see you in two weeks' time. Two weeks' time, ladies and gentlemen, the 3rd of May, our Winston's Lady Centre, doors open at 6.30. Thank you very much for coming today. We look forward to seeing you on the night. Good night, God bless, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.